In this video, we will have a quick walkthrough of the VirtualBox interface under 7 to 8 minutes. Use the shortcut on the desktop to start the VirtualBox. Alternatively, you can use the Windows Search feature to find the VirtualBox to start it. Here is the VirtualBox interface. There are no virtual machines because we did not create them yet. The left pane, which is blank, would list the virtual machines after we create them. And on the right, you would see the properties of the selected virtual machine and its snapshots. On the menu, we have File, Machine, and Help here at the top. Under the File menu, we have Preferences, Import and Export Appliances, Virtual Media Manager, Host Network Manager, Network Operations Manager, Check for Updates, Reset All Warnings, and Exit. The options under Machine are used to create and work with virtual machines. Most of the options are grayed out because we don't have any virtual machines. Help menu. It's easy to guess. Virtual box related help can be found under this menu. The last option under help is about virtual box, which displays the version and the copyright information. Now let us talk about the icons under the menu. New is used to create a new virtual machine. Settings is used to display the settings of the virtual machine selected. Discard lets you discard a saved state. A save state is an option that allows you to freeze the state of the machine by writing the necessary information to the disk and stop the VM. So when you resume, it wakes up the machine to the state at which it was saved, almost like a file. This is a cool feature. The last one, Start, allows you to start the selected virtual machine. Let us look at the preferences real quick. Here is the preferences window. Under the general tab, you can configure the path where virtual machine files will be stored when created. What we have here is d colon slash virtual VMs in my case, which of course I customized it. So when we create a VM, all the files related to the VM will be created in d colon slash virtual VMs folder in my case. The input lets you configure the keyboard shortcuts. You have two tabs under input, virtual box manager, virtual machine. The shortcuts under VirtualBox Manager are applicable to the VirtualBox Manager, which is the interface. And the shortcuts under the Virtual Machine are applicable to the Virtual Machine you're working with. For example, under VirtualBox Manager, for Check for Updates, enter Control-1 and click OK. Now, hit Control 1 on the keyboard and you should see that the virtual box checks for any updates that are available. Let us go back into the preferences. The update lets you configure how often you want to check for the updates. Language. You can change the default language here to any of the listed languages. Display. We would recommend you to use the default settings unless you want to make some change. Network. Displays the NAT network. We will look into this later when we discuss virtual networking. Extensions. This will allow you to add any in-house developed or purchased extensions. Proxy. This allows you to configure the proxy settings used on your network. In the next video, we will look at a couple of virtual machines that are already installed. We will look at the steps to start and shut down virtual machines. Don't worry about creating the virtual machines. We will look at that in the next section.